Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. If this is your very first time on this channel, run over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lit Family. Now that you're part of the Lit Family, you already know. If you've ever seen a video before, you already know. There's some things I want for you to do. Those things are comment, 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 like, share, and go on to the for the team. Comment, like, share, and go on to the for the team. Comment, like, share, and don't forget to comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Don't forget to comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment, like, share. Okay, y'all. We're going to pray, and we're going to get into the food. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Now, before we get started, I want to let you know this because I know a lot of y'all pay a lot of attention to everything. This video is pre-recorded because you're probably not going to see this until Thursday. But today is Monday for me. So, so I don't forget, just in case I don't say it in one of the videos that you're going to see before this one, I want to say a big, 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 big congratulations to Scent and Mo. Sent and Mo, they got monetized yesterday, or day before yesterday one, in the last couple of days, and I want to say I am so proud of you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for what you contribute to the community. Mwah. Okay, y'all, today, I went to our old restaurant, old Piccadilly over there, y'all, that I told you I like. Y'all know, with our good crab salad. I got us a crab salad today. We got some lemons over here. We got the little jalapenos that I like. But y'all, this right here, this here is just some rusted red potatoes. <clears throat> That's all I have. I love them. We got roll, but you got this one here. This is blackened fish. And it comes with these zucchini and squash on top of it. Y'all, it's the business. I got the lip sauce sauce over here. I got some slap your mama and you already know. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is going help me out. Because I'm going to need him. Because I'm going to eat this food. Let's see if he's not refreshing, y'all. Mm. Yes, he is. Okay, y'all. All right, let's get it. Y'all, I really, really do love this black and fish. I love the way that they serve it. I really do. Like I said, come with these squash. Let me let y'all see it. Black and fish. Let's come with this squash and this little mix on top of it. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all so good. We got a little lemon to put on it, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then we got our old crab salad, honey. Today, I put a little paprika on top of it, honey. So y'all can see it a little bit better. Mm. Mm-hmm. I put a little paprika on it, honey. So y'all can see it a little better. So how y'all doing? Like I said, y'all, I'm recording this video Monday. Even though you won't see it until Thursday. I don't want to try to fool you, Legion. Because you know y'all will get on me, honey. So let me tell y'all right now. And especially because before you see the video, you're probably going to see a video with my nails training. Because I'm going to get my nails trained today. Mmm. Mmm. Which means you're going to be able to see at least one video 
with me with different nails. So I'm just clearing that up now. Because I don't want no mess, Legion. Mm. But anyway, how y'all doing? How are y'all? Mm. How's the weather where you at, honey? So, baby, it's so cold here. And if you don't believe me, from this good hat on my head in this video, this good Bob Marley toboggan, y'all was feeling my inner Bob Marley today, y'all. I was feeling my inner Bob Marley. But if you don't think it's cold here in Memphis, Tennessee, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> y'all just don't call here. It's cold. I put my good sabag on on to shoot the video. Yes, I did. Y'all, it's cold here. Mm. It's very cold. Y'all bloody rolls. Do y'all like the rolls that they give you at the restaurant? Bye bye. It's gonna be the best roll. Yes, they do. It's gonna be the best roll, honey. I love that bread. Mmm. 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 Those little jalapenos, honey, I love them. I love them. Mmm. So how y'all been doing? Mmm. Y'all been doing all right? You know, after holidays sometimes, it's a struggle, you know, getting back going. Like you always go, you know. But sometimes that's a struggle. So how did y'all make it through it? Did y'all make it through it all right? You know you be sleepy because you ain't been to work that extra day and all that. And I know some of y'all probably had the, the weekend, the whole weekend off all the way to Monday. Which is today for me. So, how did y'all adjust? Were you able to just get on up and go to work? If you got to go? Or if you work from home, was you able to get on up and go in there and get on that computer, honey? And get your business taken care of? I hope so. You know, I tell y'all all the time, honey, we cannot mess up the coins. No, sir. We need our coin. Mm-hmm. We need our coin now, honey. Mm. So do y'all, do y'all like blackened fish? And I wonder what they blacken it with. I've never asked. Mm. Because when I blacken stuff, I just use a blackening powder that you buy, you know. But this blackening is more of a... Um, like a crusty type blackening. It's delicious. That is delicious. And like I said, it didn't come with these, y'all. The squash and zucchini on top of that. It's divine to me. Oh, y'all, guess what? Today, finally, I was lucky enough, able to look up and find the whole interview that B-Love did uh, on CBS. You know, in her house, where she was like reading, mm, like her fan mail and stuff. That was very, very nice. Shout out to you, B-Love. We are so proud of you, baby. Now, if you see this video, you just know that me and my legion. We love you, baby. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. We love you, and we think that you're doing absolutely wonderful. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. Mm. So look, y'all. What y'all think about this Gabrielle Union thing that's going on about AGT? Honey, and let me tell y'all something. The thing about it, about this kind of stuff, that 
you have to really pay attention to, to me, is AGT, mm, oh, that fits good. Woo-hoo! <laughs> God, that fits good. AGT been shooting that show with basically the same court judges. You know, Simon's going to be there. Well, Howie Mandel. I haven't followed this season, so I do know that, that normally Simon and Howie Mandela are always there. And the middle ones be switched. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because the model, what's that girl's name? Used to, excuse me, y'all. Used to be married to Seal. Heidi Klum. You know, she was on there for a long time with Mayor B. But y'all, you know, they fired Mayor B a, a minute ago. And they've been switching judges out. So Gabrielle Union was on there this time. Now look, this is what I'm going to tell you. You got to keep it real now. We're going to keep it real. We're not going to be dumb to what's going on. So Gabrielle, and Gabrielle Union got the job, y'all. Let me see if I can let y'all see this crab salad. There you go. Well, look. I, I want you to keep your eyes open and realize that Okay, when Mel B left, right, you know, they got to keep it, like, culturally uh, diversified. So, honestly, they needed a black girl. You know, they needed a dark girl. Honestly, they did. You know, to keep it diversified. Now, y'all, we ain't talking race. Well, we are, but we not. We just talking what's real. So... Gabrielle Union got the job, okay? Now, Gabrielle Union say it's a bunch of, um, you know, culturally insensitive things that are going on on this show. Now, honey, she told it. Yes, she did. Mm-hmm. You know, she's a very successful actress. Excuse me, y'all. I saw that. But I'm trying to tell you about what's going on, dog. She's a very successful actress, and she's married to Dwayne Wade, who is now retired from the from the NBA. So, Gabrielle, you don't need that money, honey. She don't. I know she was probably, you know, happy to get the job in the position because it's AGT. It's America's Got Talent, and anything that Simon touches, you know, uh, normally blows up. So. I bet it was an honor, you know, for her to get the job, but not enough for her to sit on there and see things going on that don't need to be. I applaud you, Gabrielle, at the end of the day. If you saw they were wrong, you were supposed to tell it. Let us know, because I'm listening. <laughs> well, yes, I am. But you got to think about, y'all, how many seasons has that show been, been on how many contestants have been through that joint that were maybe not necessarily black, but a minority in some type of way? Whether it be Asians or anything, you know? If these type of jokes and these type of things and this type of cultural insensitive things are being said and joked about on the show, you got to wonder. You know, like, it makes you say, Hmm. Well, it made me say hmm anyway. It might not you, but I'm going to tell you so you can say hmm. <laughs> you know, it makes you think that some of that stuff with the judge and stuff could not be unbiased like it's supposed to be. It could not be about the talent. You know? Baby? That's why I say keep your eyes open. Huh? Keep your eyes peeled, honey. Mm-hmm. I just dropped my jalapeno, y'all. Because I found it. Mm, because if you ain't got your eyes open, honey, you may miss something that you need to see. It really might. I mean, can you uh, imagine the conversation between her and Dwayne Wade about her coming public with this? Mm-hmm. What I do know is they ain't heard for no money, honey. Because she's very successful. 
and we all know as long as Dwayne Wade was with the Miami Heat, honey, the championships and all of that, he is well paid, honey. Well. Them folks ain't worried about no money. And they said, I'm going to tell you what's going on at AGT, and I don't blame them. I applaud her. Hey! Yes, I do. Y'all, y'all can't see it, but my Christmas tree is literally right here beside my table where I shoot my videos. So, I mean, I'm all this. Look, y'all, I done dropped it again, honey. And then look what I find when I go down there. There's some squats. Child, I ain't gonna worry about it. Child, I ain't gonna worry about it. But anyway, anywho, I was wondering if y'all was paying attention to that, honey. And if you wouldn't, I was sure never gonna let you know to get over there and pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. I sure was. And if you ain't seen the B Love, the whole CBS interview, you need to go look at it. I'm so proud of B Love. I am. I'm so proud of her. I ain't no hater. I don't hate, honey. I congratulate. I do, because I love everybody. Mm-hmm. Now, I do want everybody to win. I can truly say that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have y'all been to see the Mukbang Bulls? Have you been over there, honey? To see them. Big Mac. You love Sunny. I'm Lips. Look at my in Sam's world. Dumb up, man, bulls, baby. And you know, I just said this to y'all. Two or three times. But it's about to come to pass. The other three days of our seven-day production that we had to stop. You know when Sam's world's mother, Miss Rachel, how you doing, baby? Um... It's doing better, and we're about to resume. Three more days on the McBang Bulls. We're all going to release at the same time. So y'all get prepared. Oh, excuse me. So y'all get prepared. Now get your schedule fixed. So you can partake and see us all. Mm-hmm. We're getting it ready, y'all. It ain't going to be too long, I promise you. I promise you. Big Ben! Ah. It ain't gonna be long, y'all. It just ain't. It ain't. So, y'all, our Panthers lost again Sunday. Now we are. Um, I think we are five and six now, I think. Uh, let me say, now, maybe five and seven. Yeah, because we had one last week, we would have had a 500 season. And y'all, we let, um, who beat us, y'all? Who was it? Whoever was supposed to beat us, honey. I think that record is like two and nine. Washington Redskins. Y'all, we started the game out good. We was up 14-0 and still lost, honey. But that just goes to show you. I don't care what their record is and what they haven't done. They're professional football. And them folks can win. They put together a nice game, you know. Play as a team, which is the same thing that goes over to come down to YouTube. Y'all, we all stay together. And want everybody to win. We all can win. All of us can. Hmm, let me tell you. Y'all like Russell Red Potatoes. They good. Russet Red Potato. And they just been seen, you know, until they were soft. I love potatoes anyway. I'll make the pool kind of quick. But I love potatoes. Mmm. You got we ate all this food. They were good too. Truly it was. This came from my restaurant honey. Piccadilly, I was out today. I had to go pick up some more labels, you know, for the hot sauce and some other dog things I had to do. Because we've been gone. That's why, oh, y'all, this is good. That, uh, that's why I wanted to go and tell you 
that the video was pre-recorded or that I'm recording it Monday. Mm-hmm. So we really just getting back home. Hence, it was the holiday. And you guys, the holidays are, they're really, really special and sacred to me and my family. You know, that's why I took off Saturday and Sunday and you didn't get a video. No, no, Sunday and Monday and you didn't get a video because we had to take little lips of Christmas lights, um, the Christmas tree lighting. We had to go to the um, lights expedition. She got to get her Santa pictures made. She had her school pictures made. We had a lot going on. You know, we had to write the Santa list, run and go pay it, I mean, go mail it. You know, the letter to Santa, you know, had to do all that. Plus, you know, we put our Christmas tree up the day of Thanksgiving. That's just our tradition, what we do. And, um, you know, we had Thanksgiving going on. We had company over. I'm shooting videos for you while they him. All this type of stuff. All this type of stuff that went on, honey. Yes, it did. So I had to take two days off to try to get all this stuff cleared off my plate. Off my plate. Like my plate is clean. Uh, but anyway, I had to get all this stuff together, y'all. Hot sauce got to go out. And I want to say thank you to y'all as well. That you guys that are ordering the hot sauce. And all you guys seem to like it very, very well. I am so, so thankful to you for supporting me in that manner. Thank you so, so, so much. Also, the hot sauce. For you to order it, like you can order it right now, straight through me. And... You know, get it that way. We're only going to do that for, a, you know, just a little while longer. Because we got something coming up pretty big. And I'm going to need to, you know, get myself prepared. So that I don't fail you all when it happens. And it's going to happen very, very soon. It's going to be big for us. So anyway, um, but I'm creating a store, a website, where you can go and get the hot sauce. So I can keep up with it. You know what I mean? And I can get your product to you. For all of you guys, like I said, that have already gotten the hot sauce. Thank you so, so much. If you hadn't got it and you do want to get it really, really quick before I shut it down, look in the community post. There's a way over there for you to get it. Just keep look, scroll down. If it's something on top of it, it says hot sauce. And look at it and tell you how to get it, okay? Thank you in advance. I love you guys so, so much. All my new legion, thank you for being here. I love you all. Thank you so, so, so much. You guys, we're growing so fast. That I'm so thankful for you guys. Because you guys could have chose to be somewhere else. I love you all so, so, so much. Stay warm. Y'all just call me. It is Big Ben. Come on in here before we get ready to go. Big Ben says good night. <laughs> oh, y'all, we finna get up out of here. I know it's a short video. I know it is. But today I chose to take a healthier approach to our mukbang. So we have some black and baked fish, baby. That roll wasn't too good for the diet. <laughs> Nor the potatoes, honey. But we had our seafood, we had our crab salad, and we had our blackened fish with our zucchini and squash on it. That was good. That's very, very healthy. And, of course, you know, we got Diet Coke up in Big Ben. Y'all seem to be very interested in that lately. Y'all been asking me a lot, does it always Diet Coke and Big Ben? Yes, it is. Anything you see me drinking is diet. I don't drink calories. I do not. And I hope you guys can understand that. And I tried to tell somebody in the comments, y'all, I got a husband. I do. And he's younger than I am. Not much, but still, I got a husband. This got to come home. And I'm doing these mukbangs. Y'all got to control my weight. I cannot. I will not. Baby, I'm not going to set up here. No. Uh-uh, honey. I'm going to present to my husband what I always have. Me. The same size. Hey, hey, hey. So, yeah, yeah, I don't drink calories. I really don't. And if you are serious about trying to lose weight, if you really, really are, and you're really, really trying to lose weight, you should think about that as well. You do not understand how many pounds that you drink on a daily basis. And there's an alternative. Uh, you may take some getting used to it because it's diet, but there is an alternative with the sugar-free, you know, the sugar-free uh, little packs that you get up in the uh, grocery store. 
You can have them. The zero calories diet, any diet drink is zero calories. You know, water, of course, unsweet tea, unsweet lemonade. You know, when you take the water, you just squirt the lemon down over it to give you some type of taste. Or like cucumber water, lemon water, all that kind of stuff where you don't have to drink calories. Because I'm telling you, believe it or not, I think a pound is 3,500 calories, if I'm not mistaken. 3,500 calories. And if you look on your average 20 ounce soda, I guarantee you it's between five and a thousand calories in that one drink. Now, you do the math with Kool Aid and sodas and stuff, you drinking up over a pound, y'all ain't finna go. Y'all can research it for yourself. Go and see how many calories it is for a pound. I think it's 3,500. And then start paying attention to your sodas and what you drink orange juice, Kool Aid, that kind of stuff, and see how many calories in it and see really how much. You know, you are contributing if you need to lose weight. I'm not saying that you do, but if you do and you are on a diet, what you drink is where you start. Trust me. Trust me, it's where you start. Anyway, I love you guys so, so much. I want you guys to know that, and y'all remind me because I forget, the month of January, we're going to do the 30 Days Pregnant with Water again. We're coming with it again, y'all. January, 30 days of nothing but water on the Lips channel. Get ready for it. Get ready, get ready, get ready. But before then, start checking what you're drinking. And you'll see that a whole bunch of calories, if you're at that point and you know that you're controlling your eating habits and you still ain't getting no results, look at what you drink because that's where you need to start anyway. Anyway, I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm rambling on. I already done done it though now. I already done rambled on. I hope you stay here to watch. I love you guys so, so, so much. You finna go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye bye, you guys. Bye bye. Look, if you're feeling bad today, look, check this out. Go get your Bob Marley on. Go get your Bob Marley on. Y'all got my inner Bob Marley going on. <laughs> Y'all be to go. Bye. Bye. Mwah. Oh, that was a fun video, man. That was a fun video. Mm. Yeah, that was a fun video. Let me tell y'all something. I ran into an encounter today. You know, we, as family, holidays, we all get together, eat and stuff like that, y'all. So, you know, you mean to mean and everything. What I want to tell y'all is, in this lips leftovers is, y'all, the Bible says when you know better, you're supposed to do better. Okay? Also, if you see your brothering, doing something incorrectly and you have some influence on them in order to let them know that what they're doing is wrong or that what they're doing could be a hindrance to their life and you don't, you do know that God said that that sin belongs to you now. If you don't help your brothering, you know what I mean? Like if you, it's your best friend, your cousin, your mama, your daddy, whoever, and you know what they doing ain't right, and but they thinking that they right in whatever case, and you sitting there and you don't try to correct it when you know it don't line up with what the Bible say in any kind of way, right or wrong, because we all have sins. All of us do things. And God says that no one sin is bigger than other. So if you a liar, hey, because that's what I'm going to catch a lot of folks. It's going to catch a lot of folks. All that lying, that false witness. If you are a liar, you might as well just murdered somebody because God looks at it the same. And that's what a lot of people get mixed up. They want to say that because you live this lifestyle or because you do this or because you get your nails done or because of this and because of that. They want to put a whole bunch of because of this and because a whole bunch of because of this and because of that to make you feel like that what you do in your life is so bad. But they stop, they lying. They lying to you when they say that. Because the Bible says there's not, but there's no sin is bigger than the other. None of them. They're all the same. So any sin that I might do, if you tell a lie, you get the point. You get the point because people get beside they self. They do too much. They really do. That's the reason why I live and let live. 
I'm going to do me. And I'm going to let you do you. I love me. I love you. I particularly love us. That's why we love Legion. That's why we are right there, y'all. For real, because people get beside themselves. They really, really do. And they'll put whatever they feel like is wrong with your life to be so bad. But they like, baby, you get it, you get it, you get it. And you get into them situations with family. You do, you get into them situations because they know halfway know your business, you know. And they want to try to make what you're going through be something, be a big old mountain, but what they're going through be a molehill. Sit down. Sit down. Read your word. Read your word. Anyway, y'all got to go. I love you guys so, so much. We're going to get up out of here. Bye-bye.